what is going on everybody back at it again with another YouTube video and today is Eagles game day fans are back in the stands to a point and the visiting Baltimore Ravens will be in the link today with fans for the first time for this season since last year's playoff game it's going to be a very tough task to beat the Baltimore Ravens as not many teams do it. You know, you got your Chiefs, you got the Titans, you got the maybe possibly the Bills that can give the Ravens a run for their money, especially come playoff time as we saw last year with the Titans and as we've seen over the last three games with Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. Lamar definitely does seem to struggle against the Chiefs, but he's not playing the Chiefs today. He's playing the Philadelphia Eagles with very, very, very banged up with a very banged up team. I mean, you can't really argue that. We're a very banged up team. They are not, but they are missing one big player, and that is defensive tackle Brandon Williams. Now, the reason why I bring that up is because the Eagles run the ball a lot in the first half. Brandon Williams is a great run stopper. When he is on the field, the Ravens' run defense is a lot better than when he is off. Now, he is not playing all game run the ball, and I will definitely get into that. I have my five keys to the game to beat Baltimore, and I will go over that in a second, and that is definitely one of them. You have to run the ball on this defense, especially where they have great cornerbacks, great secondary in Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Peters. They have Chuck Clark, and they also have a solid linebacking crew. You know, they got Matthew Judon. They got Patrick Queen. They have guys that can definitely spread the field, spread the defense, and make plays. So you got to run the ball, especially with Brandon Williams being out, because of the run defense that he brings that will not be in attendance today at the link. The Eagles, though, are also missing a couple key players. Deshaun Jackson is still out with a hamstring injury. He will be back on Thursday. Not that it matters today, but he will be back Thursday against the Giants. Alshon Jeffrey is out hopefully he plays either next week or the week against the Cowboys and the biggest one is Lane Johnson Lane Johnson being out is huge it's a huge loss for the Eagles because as I've been saying the Ravens have a great defense it's probably one of the best in the league I would say top 10 top 5 at least they have a they have great players they blitz they do this they do that and, you know, when you have Jamon Brown and Jack Driscoll, and again, you still have Jordan Maiata and Kelsey is in. But other than that, who's who's our, what's it, center is Kelsey. Then you have Brown, you have Driscoll, you have Maiata, and I'm missing one. But we're banged up, guys, like. We're a banged up team. We have a banged up line, and that's why I really feel like Carson Wentz hasn't looked the best, but he has looked better in past weeks. And he's going to have to keep this up if they want to beat the Ravens, which, again, it's no easy task. I don't really feel too confident on this, and I usually am a pretty confident Eagles fan to say, oh, yeah, I think we can beat you know this team, that team. I said last week, I think we could beat the Steelers, but we didn't. We let up four touchdowns to Chase Claypool. So only I can only imagine what's going to happen this week. You know, you got a great offensive tight end in Mark Andrews. Marquise Brown is always a good weapon to have. Lamar Jackson is the reigning MVP of football with his elusiveness, his ability to get out of the pocket and scramble and just break ankles. I mean, that's what he is best at. And with our poor linebacking crew led by Nathan Jerry, Gary, whatever his name is. And, you know, you got guys like Sean Bradley that are rookies and you just have very limited play at the linebacker position. So it's going to have to come from the trenches. That's why I'm wearing my Fletcher Cox jersey today. We're going to need a big day out of the, our D-line. Brandon Graham, Fletch, Malik Jackson, Hargrave, you got to get into the backfield. You got to stop guys like J.K. Dobbins, Mark Ingram, uh, Gus Edwards, Lamar. 
You got to stop guys like this or it's going to be a very, very, very long game for the Eagles. And with that being said, let's get into the five keys into beating the Baltimore Ravens. Which again, no easy task for any team, let alone the very banged up linebackerless Eagles team. Key one, collapse in the middle. Keep Lamar from getting into the middle of the field. If you can limit Lamar Jackson's ability to run the ball, keep space like the Titans, like the Chiefs have done. They definitely collapse the middle. But again, they have linebackers, and we really do not. We definitely struggle in that department. But again, you saw what the Chiefs did last year in the playoffs. They ran in gauge eight. They blitzed. You collapsed the middle. They pressured Lamar. They got two players that were up, that were like before the sticks. They got to those guys. You need to limit Lamar Jackson's running game in order to at least attempt to beat Baltimore because it's going to be a long game if he can get out of the pocket and just do whatever he wants. It's go- It's going to be a long game regardless, I feel like, but this is a key Definitely in the beating Baltimore is stopping Lamar Jackson from being Lamar Jackson and getting his line, his running backs out of the middle of the field because they will break one. Step two, run the ball, Doug Peterson, especially in the second half. They do a great job of running the ball in the first half. I don't ever know why they shy away from it so much. You have Miles Sanders. You have, you know, Scott and, and Corey Clement, but... Sanders just broke a 74-yard touchdown last game. He has the ability to break break one. He has that ability. Nobody else on this team is going to do that. If Carson wants to run, go ahead and run. But you cannot shy away from the run or it is going to be torture on offense. I don't I, I just don't know how we're gonna really get points besides from the running game to move us down the field. So you need to run the ball, especially with Brandon Williams being out, who is a great run stopper, who brings the team together really to stop the run. You know, he, they like opposing teams average like two and a half yards, I want to say, when Brandon Williams is on the field, and now they have, have averaged like five and a half, six yards every rush when Brandon Williams is not on the field, and he is out today. So you need to attack the D-line, you need to attack that side of the field. Step three, you need to protect the ball. You need got to limit your mistakes. If you turn the ball over, especially with Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Peters playing on the outside, Marlon Humphrey is also a great, you know, he strips the ball. He is great at getting his hand in there and ripping the ball from receivers and running backs. So you need to protect the ball because the, the Baltimore Ravens will make you pay. They will 100% make you pay in that department if you turn the ball over as you, as we've seen before. Step four, you need to try and grab, you need to get the early lead. With the early lead comes a struggling Lamar Jackson. He has struggled tremendously when he has been trailing in games, especially with the Chiefs, Titans, you know, games like that. You have seen him struggle. He is the 30th ranked quarterback by pro football focus in games where he is trailing by seven or more. So if you can get to that touchdown, if you can go up 10 early, which I know it's going to be hard, trust me, don't get me wrong, it's going to be hard. But if you can get a 10 run or a 10 score lead, then you got to just work it out. But you need to try and grab the early lead, or Lamar Jackson will still be Lamar Jackson, and he will not have to pass as much. He can run. He can run his offense the way he wants. He can flow it through him. But when he is forced to throw, he has definitely struggled, and you have seen that in games against the Chiefs, Titans, and and good teams like that. Not saying that we're good, but that is another key. And key five, target other players besides Travis Fulgham. I know it is hard to do that when you have Very limited receivers, especially with Deshaun and Alshon being out. But, you know, hit Fulgham when he is open, but you cannot keep targeting him. When Marcus Peters and Marlon Humphrey are going to be on him the majority of the game. Pretty much all game, they are going to be on him. So you need, you need 
to target guys like Zach Ertz, like whoever else is out there. I know it's going to be hard because I can't even tell you who our receivers are going to be today. But you need to target other guys because they will eventually pick up on it. You targeted them like 13 times last game, and it worked. But we we need to probably target some other guys with in today's game because Zach Ertz cannot have, what, four yards, six yards like last game? Can't happen. And that is my five keys into beating the Baltimore Ravens. The Eagles play the Ravens today, obviously. Week six, we play on Thursday in week seven against the Giants. It's not going to be an easy game. We're going to have to take it to them early. We're going to have to play physical. Let's play for the fans today because they are finally back in attendance. It's not going to be the same rocking 70,000 you know, crowd that we're used to, but it is something, and you need you need to play for them. Because this team, you know, you, you've seen a lot of players say, oh, well, you got to be with us when you're with us. Well, how about you win some games? We're with you, trust me. But it is very frustrating right now being an Eagles fan. I won 4-1. and won. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Let's go, Eagles. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Let's go, birds, and I'm out. Peace.